Todd, well, the virtual hearing resumes tomorrow, and now the Leon County judge presiding over the case says he has enough information to make a ruling in this case. And tonight we're hearing from one of the 12 parents who are plaintiffs in this case. This woman has two children in elementary school in Boca Raton. It's disgraceful. I mean, the school board is elected to protect our children. The governor is elected to protect all citizens of his state. It's insane that we have to go sue the governor to protect our children when his job is to protect all children. While Leslie Abravanel and her husband wait for a ruling regarding a possible injunction against Governor Ron DeSantis' executive order banning school districts from imposing mask mandates, attorneys for both sides made their closing arguments today. Plaintiffs want this court to rebalance state policy and in doing so overrule the parent choice rights. That's the goal of that blizzard of data the plaintiffs put on your honor's desk. They are asking you to second guess the political branches and implement a different policy. There's a certain level of appreciation that if you're in a public space relying on, on public resources that you know you don't have a perfect autonomy to do everything you wish to do. Sometimes you have to bend a little bit to protect other people. Governor DeSantis and Attorney General Ashley Moody also weighing in on the lawsuit today. Because think about it, this, in terms of health, there's parents whose kids have not done well wearing the masks all day. Obviously, kids with special needs have not done well, kids with autism, and then just kids who didn't, don't learn as well when they're not able, particularly the little kids, when they're not able to see some of the facial cues and being able to do some of that. And so it has taken a toll on, on kids throughout Florida. And under different circumstances, many of these children uh, have faced different health circumstances and have, uh, and parents should be able to make that choice as they're sending their child off to school. Now, a final ruling is expected tomorrow morning. Reporting live in Palm Beach County, Steve King, WPBF 25 News.